hello guys welcome to our channel programming tips and trick in this knowledge we provide the in-depth knowledge of different programming language which differentiate you with others today we are going to discuss something known as control statements or decision making statements till date whatever you have learned in C programming what we are writing we are writing wide main wide main opening braces statement 1 2 3 4 5 closing brace C program always start executing from the opening brace of main and terminates always with the closing brace of main and in this main function whatever the statements we have write all these statements are executed sequentially but there are certain conditions where we have to take the decision depending upon the different circumstances and we have to execute either statement 1 2 3 or either statement 4 5 6 suppose we are having one program here here we will check the condition if the condition will be true we will execute statement 1 2 and 3 if the condition will be false we will execute the condition statement 4 5 and 6 and this and like this for this we are having three statements in C language so what we have written if we want to execute different set of statements or actions depending on the circumstances we can use control statements or decision making statements C language is having three control statements first one is if else statement second one is switch statement and third one is conditional operator today we will discuss something known as if else the syntax of if else is if condition if condition is true so we will execute statement 1 2 and 3 if condition will be false we will execute statement number 4 and 5 let's understand this with an example now in this small c program what we have written int main int a equal to 10 so we are initializing 10 to a now what is if and else if and else are nothing but a control statements or you can say these are also keywords what are keywords keywords are the words whose meaning is already defined to the machine so what we are writing if a equal to equal to 10 means what we are doing we are trying to check the condition if the value of a is equal to equal to 10 then printf a is equal to 10 and initialize the value of a with 5 else printf a is not equal to 10 initialize the value of a equal to 15 after executing a equal to 15 we are displaying printf value of a is what percentage i a now suppose here the value of a is what here the value of a is what suppose we are assuming the value of a is 10 is 10 is equal to equal to 10 condition is true printf a is equal to 10 a equal to 5 then the control will directly go this condition will be true it will execute this two statement and the control will go directly to the printf value of a percentage i a the output will be 5 now suppose in first case a equal to 10 in second case suppose a equal to 11 so is a is equal to equal to 10 condition is false control directly will come to else printf a is not equal to 10 a equal to 15 so instead of 5 we will get 15 so either one of the condition will be executed if the condition will be true if part will be executed if the condition will be false else part will be executed now go through this program if any doubt you can ask me how you can ask me you can ask me in the comment section because i am not taking your online classes once i will take the online so i will come to the live section actions then we will discuss if any doubt you are having now let's talk about some tips on if else whenever a condition is evaluated in c 
it gives value 1 if the condition is satisfied, 0 if not the satisfied. Means whenever a condition is evaluated in C using if statement, it gives either 1 or 0. If condition is true or satisfy, it will return 1, either it will return 0. What does it mean? If always work with 0 and 1. A non-zero number is always treated as true, whereas 0 is treated as false. A non-zero value means it may be in decimal number, C will treat as true. If it is a non-zero value, it is true. If it is 0, then it is false. The group of statement after if up to and not including the else is known as if block. Similarly, the statement else after else from the else block. Here, this is what this is we are having if block means this is your if block and this is your else block means after if else block is there and after else here else block is there if there is only a single statement these braces are optional if it is more than one statement braces are compulsory now let's discuss in the tip section what we are written if there is only one statement in the if block the pair of braces can be dropped or optional that we have already discussed if there is only one statement in the as block the pair of the braces can be dropped or optional same in the case of else also if there is no statement to be executed in the else block then then the keyword else can be dropped what does it mean if sometimes there may be some conditions if condition satisfy we want to execute some statement if condition fails we don't want to execute any statement in that case we can drop else part what does it means if can be used alone whereas else cannot be used alone if can be used alone whereas else cannot be used alone means if you are using else if is must but if you are using if else is optional if there is no statement to be executed in the else block then if uh, else block keyword can be dropped it is perfectly valid to write an entire if else construct within an if block or else block this is called nesting means i can write if inside an if this is known as nesting that we will discuss in some of the other class more than one condition can be combined together using logical operator or operator or not operator for example if percentage is greater than or equal to 50 and then percentage is less than 60 what does it mean if the student is percentage value is more than 50 but less than 60 then he comes under second division means here we are checking two conditions first one is percentage should be greater than 50 and second one is percentage should be less than 60 if percentage value is between 50 and 60 he comes under second division let's take some more example if one will this execute the program what it will execute it will execute nothing but hello why hello if one one means non zero value non zero value is a true value it will display hello else part if if condition is true else is not executed if zero if zero means false false means else part output will be high if 3.15 if 3.14 printf hello else printf high what will be the output output will be hello why because any non zero value is a true value so 3.14 is a non zero value it will display hello next if minus 3.15 it will again display hello why because minus 3.15 is also a non zero value so in c language any non zero value is treated as a true value so if minus 3.14 it will display hello the so moral of the story is what if never checks the condition condition is checked by the relational operator or the conditional operator if always work with 0 and 1 1 means true 0 means 
false go through this program if any doubt you can ask me in your comment definitely in 24 hours i will try to give answer back to you thank you very much for listening my lecture if you like the content of this channel please share and subscribe to your friends thank you very much bye bye good night